Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about what changes the Cowboys must do this off season. This is serious, cap more time. All right, all right, baby, got my list here. Uh, gonna go over it. Uh, it's the list of lists, you know. Will the culture ever change here in Dallas? We, we can go over all these lists. Everybody will have them uh, come the end of the season, you know, depending on this, how the playoffs shake out. You know, everybody will have them. This is going to be my list here um, because there's a lot to be done here. There's a lot that needs to be fixed with this team. I'm going to give you my top five areas that the Cowboys must fix this offseason if they're going to return to the playoffs and try to make a run. All right, uh, number five. All right, they got to turn this this uh, coaching uh, roster a little bit. You know, I think some of the assistants here have gotten stale. We we have some leftovers from the Garrett era. We, we got to get rid of that shit, man. We we got to pull those weeds. Get the fuck out of here. All right. So I'm talking about Kellen Moore. All right. I hope this guy gets a job somewhere. We can get out, get out of this Garrett shit, bro. Garrett, let me hand. Get out of it. Oh, but he's got the number one offense and this and that, you little pussies. Dude, we're not going to get anywhere with, with this Kellen Moore. Every year, oh, we, we know the play calls. We know what they're going to do because it's the same crap, the same verbiage, all right? I don't care if, what, what, the, what the numbers are. It's not always about the numbers. So you got to move on from Kellen. Um, go ahead and get rid of uh, Nussmeyer, the QB coach. Get rid of him. Um, and start preparing for the future, all right? So, uh, also, defensive line, I think that, that can be, uh, I think defensive line needs to be looked at. The defensive line coach, um, I, I think that uh, that can definitely be upgraded. You know, I, I think McCarthy needs to go get him somebody else, uh, including Leon Lett. I think Leon Lett and uh, Aiden Durden, whatever his name is, I think they need to revamp those guys. We, we need to get somebody here with a little bit more experience, somebody with more skins on the wall, all right? Because that, that D-line, they're, they're not getting it done, bro. They didn't get it done, all right? So that's number five. Number four, Cowboys definitely got to fortify the O-line. They cannot. It seems like the last three seasons, the Cowboys have been doing this zero continuity on the o-line and it's 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 killing uh it's killing the offense you know what i mean there's no continuity there running game has suffered pass protection has suffered Dak doesn't like the left side you know being being a question mark we know that he gets the happy feet interceptions overthrows underthrows uh, this sorts of things so uh fortify that o-line and to do that you know i think that they're going to have to go after somebody in free agency you know Maybe even make a trade. Maybe draft somebody. It's got to be something. They get. They got to fix it. Um, you got Tyler Smith. He showed that he could do the left side. You know, maybe you bring back McGovern. You know, on, on a cheap deal, but still draft somebody. Still get you another tackle. You know, you can never have enough old linemen here. Um, I think the depth probably needs to be um, refreshed. You know what I mean? So, uh, a backup center. Um, in case Beatish gets dinged up because he's gotten dinged up a couple of times in his career here with the Cowboys and that was kind of his thing coming out of college durability right? so fortify the O-line in the offseason whether it's a free agent or draft pick they, they, gotta, they gotta nail that down you know what I mean we can't go into the season with Tyron Smith again I, I think that's over if you want to keep him as a swing guy that's fine but you cannot pencil him in as a starter at left tackle or even right tackle, all right? He's still affordable, you know, in this day and age. Uh, the amount of money he's getting is probably what, what backups are getting paid right now. So if you want to keep him, keep him. If not, that's, that's what it is. But they got to fix that. Number three, start drafting quarterbacks, man. All right? Um, I reposted my video about... The average age of quarterbacks that they get to the to the Super Bowl for the first time in their career, Dak is on the wrong side of that. All right, he, he's 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 on he's onward to 30s. Uh, that's the wrong side of uh, 
of this deal here. You know, I mean, if you missed that, I'll have a link here at the end of the video. You can go back and check that out, man. It, it's facts. You, this is a young man's game. It's, a, it's younger quarterbacks are getting to the Super Bowl for the first time in, in uh, Cowboys. They just keep holding on to these quarterback. Dak has regressed. All right, um, they've already he's already peaked. You know what I mean? He went like this. He's he's already peaked. Now the injuries are here, and now we're getting this this uh, Cam Newton type of production out of him. And the same thing happened to Cam. Cam, same trajectory. The injuries start coming, start flopping, interceptions, durability. And that's where Dak's at right now, man. So, uh, Cowboys got to do something, man. Start drafting quarterbacks, all right? And fans, they, they got to be with it. You know, they, they, they can't be, oh, yeah. no, we got Dak. Well, why do we want to waste the pick? Pick up your skirt, grab your nuts, start drafting quarterbacks. Stop being scared, man. All right? I'm sick of that shit. Uh, and if you miss, you miss. But make some attempts here, bro. Okay. Number two, figure out the running back situation. All right? Uh, I think the writing's on the wall for Zeke. Um, you know, it's, it's been rumored. Maybe they try to give him a Demarcus Lawrence type of deal. I think I think Zeke is is I I really do think he's done, bro. He won't be a starter in this league. Like if he were to hit free, if he were to get released, his free agency, he'll be a bridge a bridge player for somebody or somebody in a in a rotational type of situation. Zeke is not a, a workhorse a bell cow anymore. He hasn't been for a couple of seasons, but the Cowboys, you know, they're, they're gonna they're gonna ride that until the wheels fall off, and and they've fallen off. The PSO injury has robbed him of, of his agility. Those toss and pitch plays that Zeke used to be able to to uh, get positive yardage, now it's he's just too slow. You know what I mean? The the cutting, he, he, he's, he's lost all this. That PCL injury in the knee, it robbed him of all the agility. So that's gone. Um, Tony Pollard. And this guy's going to be somebody, probably Miami will probably take him. Um, he's going to fit perfect in a West Coast type of offense. Miami. Uh, Depending on what happens with the Rams, the Rams probably want to look at him um, and San Francisco. You know what I mean? So he'll be a big weapon for somebody. And probably end up getting a ring somewhere. Uh, if the Cowboys don't franchise tag him or extend him, he'll get he'll get he'll get uh, signed immediately. So if if that's the case, you're you're left with Malik Davis, who I really like. But you're going to have to add another running back here. So they got to figure out the game plan here. What is the plan at running back? Do you keep one of these running backs, Zeke or Pollard, and then pair him with Malik Davis and a draft pick? Or are we revamping the whole thing? Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, and my number one on this list, draft cornerback. All right. I think cornerback is, is high on the list. I mean, cornerback, wide receiver, you know, they, they could be 1A, 1B, in, in my opinion. Um, because we saw what happened at what, wide receiver. You know, um, I think they overachieved. You have CeeDee Lamb, and that's it. CeeDee Lamb, props to him, man. He really showed out this year. 107 receptions. He put up the numbers, right? Um, that, that, that second half of the season, he became a number one right before our eyes. Not worried about CeeDee Lamb. But after that, we have nothing. We have nothing. We've, we've, we've got some names. We've got guys that we've, been, that we've been carrying along here for a while, and they, they have all peaked. No Brown. You know, Jalen Tober looks like a complete utter bust. Um, you know, so, you know, they're talking about, I mean, we, we signed T.Y. Hilton, old-ass receiver, right? Talking about. Signing an old, dinged up Odell Beckham. That, that's not the way to do it. You know, so. <clears throat> wide receiver. We're kind of back when. Uh, we're kind of right back where we were before we traded for Amari Cooper. You know what I mean? Before we had Amari Cooper, we had maybe one guy. Right? We had maybe one guy. And it was uh, Dez and, and, and all, all the backups. You know? Um, and at one point we didn't even have Dez, so it's just a bunch of of name recognition guys, guys that, that, that Will McClay 
and this front office tried to sell the the fans on and they did it again this year you know what i mean they, they tried to sell it to the fans you know the oh well, we're we want to fix wide receiver we'll we'll draft jalen tolbert couldn't even get on the field man so uh wide receiver <laughs> you know what i mean could be the pick but cornerback right what we're talking about here number one cornerbacks got to be addressed you know we know what we have in Trayvon Diggs. Uh, Deron Bland looks like a steal for us. Um, but you need another one because the other guys just aren't getting it done. All right. Kelvin Joseph, that, that project's over. That, that was a project. That was a waste of freaking pick, dude. Stupid pick. Front office, they're still not learning their lesson. These, They have an issue drafting in the second freaking round. Close your eyes when the Cowboys are, are <laughs> drafting in the second round because these guys, they keep screwing up, man. They don't, I mean, if they don't fit the metrics, we're not going to draft you. We didn't draft Asante Salmon. We didn't draft Nick Bolton. Okay, linebacker. These guys, both of them, Asante Samuel, he's tearing it up, right? Uh, with, with the Chargers. Nick Bolton, tearing it up with, with the Chiefs. It's not always about the measurables. They, they they need to step back and reevaluate the metrics crap, bro. They really do. Just, just get playmakers in here. You know what I mean? Just get playmakers in here. We got to get back to, to what Jimmy used to do here. You know what I mean? Get, give us speed. Give us playmakers. You know what I mean? This team is... It, it, it hasn't been working. You know what I mean? So... Change some shit up, bro. And and that's on Will McClay and, and the scouts drafting and everybody. Coaches, it, it's on everybody. Defensive tackle. Yeah, they, they've been trying, right? And and they've been missing. Gallimore, he ain't nothing. I don't even know if he's been better than Malik. Uh, when we dropped him Malik a few years ago, right? I don't, I don't think he's been better. I think Malik was better and he was injury prone. Gallimore, once he tore up his arm, that was it. You know what I mean? Uh, Osa Digizua, a big guy, all wrestler background, this and that. He ain't doing shit. He ain't doing shit. All right. And, and, and the fans, they need to, uh, they need to love, they, they really need to, uh, step back as well and not fall into the hype season. Oh, the videos. I'm running in sand around, around the cones. Oh, there's a picture of him looking swole as fuck. He's going to give us 10 sacks. Stop, man. Creators, bloggers, they, they got to stop the hype shit, bro. Could, it, could because a lot of fans, they, they, they fall in love with that crap. The hype videos, you know what I mean? Because, you know, there's no football to be seen. So any anything football related, even a practice or a hype video, fans, they fall for the crap. But it doesn't mean they're going to do anything when, when the season starts, when the bullets start flying, man. You know what I mean? It really doesn't. A wide receivers. These guys are out here practicing. Oh, the, the Dak Prescott wide receiver summit. Okay, they, they do it every year. It's, I mean, a lot of quarterbacks and receivers do it. This is nothing special. You know what I mean? Like, that gets overhyped. Oh, Jalen Tolbert. These guys are practicing in the offseason with, with, with Dak. The wide receiver summit, this and that. Hype, man. It's all hype, bro. So... Those are my top five areas, bro. Let me know what you guys think. What are your top five areas that need to change in the offseason for the Cowboys? Let me know in the comments. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you for the next one, guys. Peace.